Wow, now the hostage situation hit a little too close to home for some places of worship, reminding them that they need to be prepared and check safety security measures. Yeah, 6 News reporter Bailey Bates talked to a member of the clergy for a Waco Jewish temple about how they're confronting anti-Semitism with safety and a strong message. The hostage attack at the Texas synagogue has renewed fears of increasing anti-Semitism here in the U.S. And now places of worship like the Temple Rodolf Shalom in Waco are making sure they're prepared. In a situation where the whole world was watching. You know, you just stop breathing for a minute. Four people, including a rabbi, taken hostage at a North Texas synagogue. I keep thinking, no, this is going to, it'll be okay. It's going to be okay. Fortunately, all four hostages unharmed and alive today. And they're crediting security courses, which Cantor Monica Odesky at the Temple Rodolf Shalom says are becoming necessary. Lately, I think, I think the need has escalated. People don't realize the amount of anti-Semitic threats that and and things that are going on in the country right now that are very frightening, very frightening. The Anti-Defamation League group says there were more than 2,100 acts of assault, vandalism, and harassment last year in the U.S., up 12% from the previous year. Odesky said this time around, it hit too close to home, and it's shedding light on the bigger problem. To get people aware that this isn't isolated. You start looking over the past number of years, and this isn't isolated. It's, it's going on more and more. The bigger cities are having a real problem. Forcing the Jewish faith to be more on guard and prepared. We've started taking some measures and talked about sending select individuals to do some more higher end training. There is uh, always security, uh, armed security, uh, that's from part of the, the, uh, the police out there. Religion aside, Odesky wants everyone to learn from the senseless act in North Texas. They need to start looking at the humanity in everyone again, and they all need to come together as a human family, not just as a, a group with a label on it. Odesky says as they move forward, they will have more open discussions about safety measures and like other congregations, they will have some type of healing, but the issue of hatred won't be resolved in a day. Reporting in Waco tonight, I'm Bailey Bates for 6 News.